Hey, Vinyl Community. Jeff back for a quick video. A few things I wanted to touch on. In the background, firstly, is uh, Amaryllis and Belladonna by Mary Halverson. This is an avant-garde jazz, um, even some classical touches in here, lots of strings. Released this year, 2LP. Um, not one really for lists. In fact, this time of year, of course, there are many people doing best of lists for the year. I had considered doing maybe best releases or most favorite releases for the year, but I actually didn't even have <laughs> any purchases, maybe a dozen for the entire year, if that. So it would have been a, here's the 10 or 12 albums that I purchased over the course of the year, as opposed to what are the top 10. So uh, anyways, that's what's playing in the background now, but absolutely love it. Really enjoy uh, the track Belladonna, which is the uh, last track on side two. Mary Halverson. December the 21st, 2022. Happy birthday to Frank. Um, I always remember Frank's birthday. It's three days after Keith Richards' birthday, which is the 18th of December. So I always like to celebrate uh, those two artists and uh, their works on and around their birthdays. Uh, in fact, I think um, Frank just had picked this up on the weekend but I haven't opened or listened to it yet it's a reissue uh, it's a Grunman master reissue of uh, the Grand Wazoo one of my favorite Frank Zappa albums um, I think this came out last week I just picked it up on the weekend but I wanted to uh, save it till today celebrate Frank's birthday um, what else can I share with you Merry Christmas everybody and happy holidays as uh, we're almost there it's just around the corner um, I got a package today um, and it's uh, one that I received from my very first ever subscriber to my YouTube channel and uh, it's from the one and only Trish Mullins she sent me her Christmas 2022 mix and uh, I've received I think three or four of these in the past in recent years here's the track listing 23 songs Thank you very much, Trish. Um, again, Trish was my very first subscriber almost 10 years ago. Um, and she, which I've never forgotten, and she remained a subscriber uh, almost a year before I actually made my first video. I draw, was able to draw, draw up enough courage to do so. But uh, also sent me a really nice uh, Christmas card. Thank you so much, Trish. Trish. Um, I really cherish these. Um, I'm not going to say what Trish spent on shipping to, to send these to me. Um, I know and she knows and it's just, it's insane shipping uh, in and out of Canada. So um, I know that Trish sends these out of love. And uh, so again, Trish, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a great uh, Christmas. Thanks again. What else can I talk about? I haven't done a video in a couple of months. I'm extremely rusty. Um, this just actually arrived and I've got a couple of albums here just to see whether I want to talk about them or not. This actually just arrived uh, about 20 minutes ago. This is the uh, Elvis that happened at the World's Fair. FTD release double LP. Uh, FTD releases, um, they've been coming out for quite some time. I think initially they um, started in 1999 as CDs and then in the early 2000s they started releasing them on uh, LPs and for those of you that know me or have been watching my channel for some time know that I'm uh, uh, I'm an Elvis nut I just I've never considered myself a record collector but when it comes to Elvis uh, I just really enjoy collecting I'm a sucker for collecting uh, Elvis music and his movies as well so uh, slowly getting into these FTDs uh, with exchange and shipping, they, they cost a fortune to get them here in Canada, but um, it's a treat. I really slowed down 
uh, my purchases is this year and so I'm sort of taking the mentality that uh, you know I'm gonna make less purchases but you know with each one maybe a little bit more instead of buying a lot more for less money um, I've set out a couple of albums highlights because it's the end of the year um, Brian Eno's uh, Forever and Ever No More. Uh, this was released, I think, back in the in the summer. Um, one of my favorites that I've purchased from this year, um, and it's not a, a completely instrumental album. There's actually uh, singing and some spoken word on here, uh, which has been quite some time since Brian has done. But it's a great album if you love it. You know, highly recommend that one. Not going into these really in, in depth because they've been talked about and shown and detailed in quite depth, uh, quite some depth actually over the, over the uh, the years as the uh, these have been released. Uh, the smile is another one. It's uh, one of the highlights. Um, a light for attracting attention. Tom York, of course, from Radiohead, part of this. Uh, just wonderful. Love that cover too. Just great stuff. Uh, probably the best purchase that I made for the year was an online purchase. I mean, this is something that I would never obviously find around here, but if I was asked what was um, my best purchase uh, of the year, whether it be new releases, reissues, um, originals, older albums, whatever, it's probably this uh, ECM release of uh, Benny Maupin's The Jewel and the Lotus. Just a fantastic uh atmospheric this is a record that just really takes you away it's it's hard to come by and uh I, you know i've never seen it in the wild so i had to order it like i say online but uh certainly glad it did probably my pickup of the year um so anyways that does it um real quick one i hope everybody is doing well um i want to wish everyone a merry christmas and happy holidays i hope this finds you and your loved ones um healthy and uh I really hope that you can make the best out of the holidays. We're expecting a winter storm in, uh, uh, in the next few days, so uh, it looks like we're going to have a white Christmas, which is always nice. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.